Yeah, a couple of new pieces of information here that are keeping everybody on their toes. Now, investigators used a bigger excavator to try searching for any sign of Trudy Appleby, and they were joined by relatives today, more of them. In three weeks, it'll be the 16th anniversary of her disappearance. And tonight, those who loved her only want one thing, and that's closure. As crews dig through the mud to search for Trudy Appleby, Friends of the family say this is a complete surprise. I got a call probably mid morning and from the newspaper asking me my comments and I didn't even know what was going on. The family's pastor Brian Fisher is talking about the latest search effort for Trudy Appleby, a member of his church missing since August 21st, 1996. Everything to God in prayer. This will be the sixth year in a row that Fisher's held a candlelight vigil for Trudy. I'll say East Moline and they'll say, um, was that Trudy Appleby's church? Fisher's close with Trudy's grandmother, Ann, who looked on at the river today. Even if they don't find anything or if they find her that she's deceased, at least it's, uh, it's bad, but it's, it's closure. It's, it's not easy. Fisher knows how hard this new search is for the family, especially because it reminds them of the disappearance. Because no matter what happens, if they find some evidence, that's bad. If they don't find any evidence, that's bad too, because we're not getting any closer to closure. Fisher walked us over to his church and an infamous sign of Trudy Appleby, one that hasn't changed in three years. It helps us every time we come into church, we look at that. It, it helps us remember the family and to reach out to them all the time. And now Fisher is preparing for his sixth vigil on August 21st with the thought of closure for Trudy over at the rock. Lots of people still thinking about her. All right, well, cops are not talking to the media at this time, but Moline Police Officer Scott Williams has always said this has been an open case. So no word on whether crews will be back out searching tomorrow. Matt. All right.